Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Ryan. We're here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History where I'm curator and head of the Department of Vertebrate Paleontology. Today we're going to be talking about a brand new ostrich mimic dinosaur, Radovades evadens. This dinosaur is based upon a fossil that was found in 1934 in an area of Badlands just outside of Dinosaur Provincial Park in southern Alberta. Radovades is from the late Cretaceous about 76 million years ago. It has very long legs and a long tail and very long arms. And based upon its anatomy, we know that it would have been a very fast runner. So although we think it's an omnivore, eat plants and insects and occasionally meat, it may have actually done some hunting as well. And those long legs would help it speed towards a prey item and also escape from large carnivores, things like a Gorgosaurus. This is an ostrich mimic dinosaur that's similar to ones like Ornithomimus or Struthiomimus. If you could envision a large ostrich with um, lacking wings but having long arms with fingers, that's very similar to what this animal would have looked like. It's based upon a partial skeleton, including a skull, pelvis, and lower legs, and part of a tail. And it's described as a new type of dinosaur based on some of the specific features of those bones, specifically how some of the bones meet just underneath the eye and some of the features of, of the tail. The new material of Radovades is very important to help us understand the relationships of the Canadian ornithomimids, animals like ornithomimus and struthiomimus. They're probably best known for the gallimimuses that we saw in the original Jurassic Park movie, which were seen running through a field. Radovades gives us new information about the skull, the pelvis, the legs, and the tail. And by comparing this to the known specimens of ornithomimus and struthiomimus, we were actually able to determine that the anatomical features of the new material, ROM 1790, is actually different from both of the other named genera. Ostrich mimic dinosaurs are actually fairly common in the fossil record. They're members of the family Theropodidae, which are large carnivorous dinosaurs, but generally ornithomimids have uh, beaked mouths, very much like modern birds. They are found across the Northern Hemisphere, primarily in Canada and the United States, and also they're abundant in Asia and Mongolia. However, in Canada, they're not that common, at least complete skeletons that are easily identifiable. That's why it's important to look at new material, even though it was collected a long time ago, like Radovades, that allows us to determine the relationships between these animals. In the last 20 years, we've come to realize that living birds are actually dinosaurs, which means when you look back on the fossil record, you would expect to find dinosaurs with feathers. And indeed, this is the case. A closer related uh, species to uh, Radovades, Ornithomimus from Alberta, actually was recently discovered with a downy covering across its body. So our reconstruction of Radovades has put this downy covering across it, as well as some small feathers on the forearms, which is what we would expect for an animal like this. So this specimen, ROM 1790, which is now called Radovades evadens, actually sat on the shelves of the Royal Ontario Museum for almost 80 years before Brad McFeeters of Carleton University took a look at it as part of his master's thesis. When Brad was working on this material, he compared it to all the known specimens of ornithomimid that he could take a look at. And he realized that by looking at some of the very fine details of the skull, pelvis, legs, and tail, that this material, the skeleton, differed from all the other skeletons he examined. And those differences were great enough to actually justify calling this a new genus of dinosaur. Museums like the Royal Ontario Museum and the Cleveland Museum of Natural History have got a lot of fossils in their collections. Not all of them are looked at all the time. So that's why it's good to curate them and preserve them for next generation of researchers like Brad McFeeters who can come along and see something that nobody else has ever seen and recognize this as a brand new type of dinosaurs, Radovades evadens.